Okay, um, Gerd by Sea. Um, for those of you that don't know, Gert, in this instance, is simply an acronym for G. I remember that. Yeah, nothing too technical there. Um, my music uh, tends to be from a period of about 1965 backwards, back into the 1800s quite often. And um, it's mainly the popular or, or, or classic stuff, but not classical. So. And uh, the, the C in Goat by C simply alludes to the fact that uh, most of my songs are in the key of C. <laughs> so, uh, there are pathetic reasons for dreaming up names. And, um, you know, lots of others going around. It turned out when I was putting this set together that um, I had it all looking pretty good and then I realised that the vast majority of the songs are about women. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, madam. Yeah, they're about women. And, and that's a good thing. Yeah, it wasn't intentional, it's just the way it turned out. So uh, let's, let's meet some of them, shall we? that I can call my own doll that other fellas cannot steal and then those flirty flirty guys with their flirty flirty eyes will have to flirt with guys that are real when I come home at night she'll be waiting she'll be the truest doll in all the world I'd rather have a paper doll to call my that have a fickle-minded real-life girl Well, I guess I've had a million dollars or more I guess I've played the dog game over and over I just quarrel with Sue and that is why I'm blue She's gone away and left me just like old dollies do Tell you boys, it's tough to be alone Tough to love a doll that's not your own I'm through with all of them I'll never love again Cause this is what I'm gonna do Buy a paper doll that I can call my own And all that other fellas cannot steal Flirty, flirty guys with their flirty, flirty eyes will have to flirt with dollies that are real. When I come home at night, she'll be waiting. She'll be the truest doll in all the world. I'd rather have a paper doll to call my own than have a fickle-minded real life. Fickle-minded real life Or any kind of real life girl uh, Yeah, it's always good to start with a bit of pathos <laughs> Okay, here's a gal uh, And of course the paper doll She's a mystery, we don't know who she is And I certainly won't comment on the modern versions of that sort of thing um, right, this next one is Hannah, her name is Hannah, she's from Savannah, okay. Down in Savannah, yes, I said Savannah, the weather there is nice and warm, the climate's of the southern brand, there's one thing I don't understand, they've got a gal there, a pretty gal there, but she's colder than an arctic storm. She's got a heart like stone, even the ice man leaves her alone. They call her hard hearted Hannah, vamp of Savannah, she's the meanest gal in town. Now that is tough, but Hannah's heart is tougher. She's the kind of gal that likes to see men suffer. To tease them and thrill them, torture and kill them. It's really like they say. I saw her at the seashore with a great big can. Hannah's pouring water on a drowning man. I'll have a hand on the vamp 
ossa vanno a gire Hug, hug, hug Vamp of Savannah, she's the coldest gal in town You can talk about your refrigerating mamas But brother, she's the polar bear's pajamas To squeeze them and throw them, torture and kill them It's early like they say And she's so cold to get you know you from her breath She kissed an Eskimo and the fool froze to death I heard a hand of the vamp of Savannah, G.A. Strolling through Alaska in your underwear I'd had a hand of the vamp of Savannah Go and tell your mama she's back from Savannah I'd had a hand of the vamp of Savannah, G.A. You can see I've got a list here When you're pushing 90 I'm not, but you might be. Yeah. <laughs> I still need the list. Okay, so we've had two, two interesting ladies, and this one, um, Paris Hilton, famous for being famous. Mae West was notorious for being notorious. You all know Mae West, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of you must be as old as me. <laughs> Okay, Mae West, she, she was a woman who was notorious, she had a reputation. She could have shown Peter Beatty all about being a media tar. <laughs> she, she was in the movies in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and 60s and then she died, I think. But um, she had the body, she had the look, she had attitude, she had songs, she had everything. I, I'm sure you'll know this one line that's attributed to her when she says, Say, is that a gun in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? <laughs> yeah. But the other one that I like says, uh, you know, men are just like linoleum. Lay them properly and you can walk all over them crap. <laughs> boom, boom. And this song, uh, you have to imagine I'm Mae West. Now I know that's a bit of a stretch, right? <laughs> bit of a stretch. But, uh, uh, this, this was pretty much her watchword. I believe that everyone in life should have a mission. Keeping people happy is the height of my ambition. And when I get them happy, well, they stay in that condition. I have a system all my own. I've got a lot, a lot of what I've got. What I've got so mine. I assure you, I can cue you if you're feeling blue. Come up and see me sometime. I've got a flat where you can hang your hat. I've got a brand new line. And if you ask me to, I'll explain it all to you. Come up and see me sometime. Come up tonight. I know the paper said the moon will be bright. They should have had it in the columns and all In letters that told that you would be falling for me Cause I am free And you appeal to me, yes you do How could it be a crime If you ain't got my number, my number's in the book Come up and see me sometime Now here is the key the room is four or three, it's not much of a climb, and you'll be in a different mood before I'm through, come up and see me sometime, come up tonight, I know the paper said the moon will be bright, they should have had it in the columns and all, in letters that tall, that you would be falling for me, cause I'm free. I've got time on my hands And you appeal to me, yes sir How could that be a crime? If you ain't got my number, my number's in the book Come up and see me sometime If you can handle it Big boy Come up and see me sometime Join in the 
singing where, you know, um, she'd done him wrong and all that stuff. So, um, here it goes. <laughs> Frankie and Johnny were sweethearts. Lordy, how those two could love. Swore to be true to each other. True as the stars above, he was her man. But he was doing her wrong. Frankie went down to the corner just to buy a bottle of beer. She said, Mr. Bartender, has my jolly boy been here? He's my man, but he's doing me wrong. He's your man, he's doing you wrong. Trying to build up a bit of tension here because Johnny is extraordinarily nervous. Frankie went back to that hotel. She didn't go there for fun. Underneath the red kimono, she's sporting a 44 gun. Shooting her man Cause he was doing her wrong Johnny, he took off his Stetson He said, baby, baby, don't shoot But Frankie had a finger on the trigger And the gun went rooty toot toot She shot her man Cause he was doing her wrong Roll out your rubber tight hat. Frankie's taking Johnny to the graveyard, but she's not gonna bring him back. She shot her man, cause he was doing her wrong. Frankie, she said to the warden, Mr. Warden, what you gonna do? He said, Frankie, you shot your man, it's the late. Cheer for you, she shot her man Cause he was doing her wrong The story has no moral The story has no end The story only goes to show that there ain't no good in men She shot her man Cause he was doing her The story goes that there were, there's a group of songwriters sitting at, in a restaurant, in, probably in Tin Pan Alley in New York, in 1934, and a challenge was set, and this is a story, right, I don't know if it's true. The idea, the challenge was that um, one of their number should write a song that became popular and made money, and it would be based on the first snippet of conversation from the adjoining table. And here's the song that resulted. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. She is sorry to be delayed But last evening down in the lowest lane she strayed Madam, Miss Otis regrets She's unable to rush today She woke up and found that her dream of love was gone Madam so she ran to the man who had led her 
so far astray And from under her velvet gown She drew a gun and she shot her lover down Man, oh, nothing new there Miss Otis regrets She's unable to lunch today The mob came, dragged her out of that jail. Madam strung her up in the willow across the way. And in the moment before she died, she lifted up her pretty face and cried. Madam, Miss Otis regrets. Miss Otis regrets. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. So you can see that the last two songs are exactly the same. <laughs> and the, the outcome for all involved was not good at all. This next one's rather different. This is um, Lulu's Back in Town. And uh, it's a big little number. Uh, and it's really a bit tricky. I, I'd like to do a bit of call and answer stuff at the end of this song. But I, because of the lights, I can't see you. And I don't know who to point to and say, you're not doing it. <laughs> um, it goes at the end. Lulu's back in town. But I'm just going to sing Lulu's back. And you're going to sing Lulu's back. And I'll sing Lulu's back. And you sing Lulu's back. So, um, can we have a bit of a practice? You're all in good voice? I'll just sing Lulu's back. Okay, we need a bit punchier. Lulu's back. Lulu's back. I said she's back. I've got to be faster than that. Come on. Lulu's back. Lulu's back. Said she's back. That's good. When I do this, it means stop. <laughs> okay, All right, give it a go. Gotta get my old tuxedo prints. Gotta sew a button on my vest. Tonight I've got to look my best. Come Lulu's back in town. What's a boutonniere? Flower buttonhole, yeah, okay. Alright, so tonight I need a boutonniere. Lulu's back in town. I'll have to, I'll have to come down there and uh, give you a boutonniere. Alright, you can tell all my pets. Uh, 
Uh, thank you. Nothing like a bit of <laughs> audience participation at inappropriate moments. I love it. Okay. Final song tonight, and uh, it involves yet another lady, probably the best-known lady in this world. It's the ukulele lady. Now, I know you're saying, oh, geez, how many times are we going to do that this weekend? But it's a beautiful song. It, um, 1925, it was written in a time when everything Hawaiian was just so wonderful for the rest of the world, particularly as um, aerial services from California had just started out to Hawaii. And uh, it was all seen as a good thing. Now, please sing along with this one. And you'll be pleased to know that we're going to be joined as we go along by Princess Jennifer of Asplen. Yes, okay. I saw the splendor of the moonlight on Honolulu Bay. There's something tender in the moonlight on oh, Honolulu All the beaches are filled with peaches who bring their youths along. And in the evening by the moonlight, they love to sing this song.
Oh, yeah. Ladies and gents, I stuffed that comprehensively, but Jenny recovered beautifully. Princess Jennifer Rascal. We can tell from that wonderful audience response oh. that they loved it, didn't they? They had a yeah. wonderful time. So all we can say is aloha. aloha. Peter Anthem and go Good to night. Thank you.